Ruling on saying, it is because of a lucky star that such and such happened. Question, I hear some people saying, if something bad happens, this is because of an unlucky star. And if something good happens, they say, this is because of a lucky star. What is the ruling on saying such things? Answer, praise be to Allah. This refers to a star that appears in the sky. During the Jahiliyyah, people thought that the stars influence events on earth. So they would attribute events to the stars. This corrupt belief has come down to people in our own time. And they say things like this. But many people do not know what this means. It says in Fatawa al-Lajna al-Da'imah, it is haram to use the phrases because of a lucky star and because of an unlucky star. Because this is attributing what happens in the universe, good or bad, to the stars. When in reality the stars have no impact at all and they are not a cause of good luck or bad luck. Allah Azza wa Jal says, the English rendition being, Unquestionably, he is the creation and the command, Al-A'raf. If the one who says that believes that these stars have an influence because of what they have of power, without Allah Azza wa Jal having anything to do with that, then this is major shirk. If he believes that all things are in the hand of Allah alone, but he merely says these words without thinking, then he has uttered words of shirk, which are contrary to what is required of affirming the perfect oneness of Allah. The basic principle concerning that is the reported narrated by Muslim in his sahih. According to which the Prophet wasallam said, There is no adawa, contagion except by the will of Allah, no hamma, an hour which comes out of the grave of a deceased person, O Noah, a star that rises at the setting of another, and no safar, the Arabs had a superstition concerning the months of safar. All these, re- all these terms refer to superstitions and beliefs among the Arabs before Islam. And it is proven in a sahihain that Zayd ibn Khalil al-Juhani radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa led us in praying Fajr in Al-Hudaybiyah following rainfall at night. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa finished his prayer, he turned to the people and said, Do you know what your Lord said? They said, Allah and his messenger knows best. He said, Today some of my slaves are believers in me and others are disbelievers. As for those who said, we got rain by the bounty and mercy of Allah, then they are believers in me and disbelievers in the stars. As for those who said, we got rain by virtue of such and such star, they are disbelievers in me and believers in the stars. End quote. Shaykh ibn Uthaymin rahimahullah said, This is something that is said by one who does not know the teachings of Islam. He says to one who passes an exam, this is because of the lucky star. And if he failed the exam, he says, this is because of the unlucky star. This stems from astrology, which is a type of shirk, because the rising and setting of stars has no influence on earthly events. Rather, all matters are in the hand of Allah Azza wa Jal, regardless of whether a person is born during the time of a rising or setting star, or at any other time. This person who claims that someone's success or failure is due to a lucky star or an unlucky star, is the type of person regarding whom the Prophet wasallam said that he is a disbeliever in Allah. What the one who said that most do is repent to Allah from that. And the one who hears him should denounce him and explain that in public and in private gatherings with young people. Because some people do not know the meaning of these words and they do not, and they do not know what they are based on. And Allah knows best.